Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. COVID-19 case numbers from around the states and territories here is a quick wrap of each Australian jurisdiction's latest COVID-19 statistics today, Tuesday, April 19th. You can get a more detailed, visual breakdown through the ABCS charting the spread story here. This list will be updated throughout the day, so if you do not see your state or territory, please check back later. You can jump to the COVID-19 information you want to read by clicking below. Victoria there have been another seven COVID-19 deaths in the state. There are 443 cases in hospital with 31 of those in intensive care and 10 requiring ventilation. There were 8,976 new cases today, up from 7,918 cases yesterday. We thank everyone who got vaccinated and tested yesterday. Our thoughts are with those in hospital, and the families of people who have lost their lives. More data soon. HTTPST COOCCFT at S1 P pound covered 19 big pound covered 19 big data pick dot twitter dot com slash RFN 4 W 5 Bo Z Y Vicgov DH at Vicgov DH April 18th 2022 NSW the state has recorded eight more covered 19 deaths. There are 1,623 cases in hospital, 70 of them in intensive care. That is up from the 1,576 cases and 67 ICU admissions reported yesterday. There were 10,856 new cases announced today, down from 11,166 yesterday. COVID-19 update, Tuesday 19th April 2022 in the 24-hour reporting period to 4 p.m. yesterday, 96.1% of people aged 16 plus have had one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, 94.7% of people aged 16 plus have had two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine pic.twitter.com slash gchar1e4hb, NSW Health, at NSW Health, April 18, 2022 Queensland no new deaths from COVID have been recorded in the state. Another 6,467 new cases were reported, up from 5,141 for the same period yesterday. There are 564 people in hospital, 20 of those in ICU, and the state has 43,251 active cases. Tasmania there have been 1,418 new cases of COVID-19 recorded in Tasmania during the latest reporting period up from yesterday's 1,372. There are now 8,953 active cases in the state, down from 9,372 yesterday. There are 47 people in hospital with COVID-19, with 22 being treated specifically for the virus. No new deaths have been reported. Western Australia Western Australia has recorded 6,107 new cases of COVID-19, meaning there are just under 40,000 known active cases in the state. There are 247 people with COVID-19 in hospital, and six are in intensive care. No COVID-related deaths were reported today. ACT Canberra hospitals are currently caring for 64 patients with COVID-19. That is the highest number in more than two months. However, only two of the patients require intensive care. The ACT recorded 816 new infections yesterday, while the number of people known to have the disease fell to just over 5,000. South Australia The number of active covered cases in SA has fallen below 30,000, with the state's police commissioner declaring it's pretty safe to assume the peak of its current coronavirus wave has passed. SA recorded 3,829 new cases today, as well as the deaths of a man and two women all aged in their 80s. The number of people in hospital with COVID-19 remains steady at 245, with 11 in intensive care. Police Commissioner Grant Stevens says recent data has been tracking broadly in line with government modelling. I think it's pretty safe to assume that we are over the peak, but we still have some period of time when we're stepping down from that peak that we could see changes in case numbers on a daily basis, he said earlier today.
The long weekend over Easter obviously saw a significant downturn in people who were turning up for testing so we'll have to see what that looks like later in this week. He said the hospital system appeared to be coping with the current caseload, and efforts to secure additional beds have progressed quite well. Over the last month there has been some effort to identify some additional beds, he said. Northern Territory The NT has recorded 475 new covered cases, with the number of known active cases across the Territory falling to just under 3,000. Three people are being treated for the virus in intensive care, and 43 people are hospitalized with covered in total. Space to play or pause, M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. What you need to know about coronavirus, what do you want to know about COVID-19? Have you been affected by the pandemic? Tell us your story. All fields are required unless marked optional. Posted four hours ago, updated 33M ago.